Hello, welcome to the Positional Chess Club channel and in this video we shall discuss why positional knowledge is important for a chess player of any strength or level. What's important to note here is that a strong chess player must have a really good knowledge of positions and a very good understanding of tactics as well. Let's look at an example. On the left you can see photo of Anatoly Karpo with one of the openings that he has attained mastery in, that is Diru Lopez. And on the right, you can see a snapshot from the game called Evergreen Immortal, played by the Adolf Anderson. Rui Lopez is one of the most strategic openings for White, and Ad Adolf Anderson played an Evergreen Immortal game, which was a highly tactical game. We all know that Kappa was a highly strategic player, but do you know what kind of player Adolf Anderson was? Well, he was also a really positional player. Most of his games used to end in more than 70 moves. So an interesting observation to note here is that styling chess does not come from the knowledge of a player, but his or her temperament. All the good chess players, all the chess masters and the world chess champions have a really great understanding of the position as well as the tactics. That is what makes them great. Let us take a look on two other chess greats. Mikhail Tal, a sacrificial and attacking player, had a very good understanding of positions as well and has produced some of the most beautiful chess in games. On the left side, you can see a game of him versus Simus Low, an English opening game which lasted for 72 moves, and Mikhail Tal played a flawless end game. On the right side, you can see a game of Petrosian and Spassky, which was a red opening game and ended in 31 moves, with Petrosian mating Spassky on board. One thing I've noticed from chess players of an intermediate strength is that they focus a lot on chess tactics and calculation, but they don't know how to make those combinations come alive on board. They give, they give so much practice on those calculation part that they lose focus on the positional knowledge that a chess player requires. This can become a great hindrance to their improvement as evaluation and improvement of one's chess position is critical to become a good player. With the help of this YouTube channel, you will learn how what to do in a static position, how you should try some different strategies in a middle game, and how to make those crazy combinations come alive on board. I thank you for your precious time, and I hope to see you in the future videos. So let's buckle up and get ready for the future ride.